Hi there, and welcome to this video on how to use the web read function in MATLAB. If you've ever seen data on the internet, whether it be an HTML code on an API or even an image, you can use the web read function to grab that data and use it. By knowing how to use web read, we can get real time data or useful information from websites, or we can save tons of picture data automatically into folders for a variety of reasons, such as deep learning image data training. Let's start by exploring HTML code. HTML is the standard markup language for documents designed to be displayed in a web browser. In the following example, we obtain all the HTML code from the MathWorks File Exchange website. You can see the data you're gathering by right-clicking on the website and going to Inspect Element. In MATLAB, we can simply use the URL as an input to the WebRead function to get the HTML code. And we can use query parameters to dictate what data we want. Query parameters alternate between a query name and a query value. And in this case, we are telling the file exchange to look for the term webread and return the HTML code. Notice how the data comes back in a character array format, and the queried webread is less in size. Additionally, we can use a regular expression to find matching text. In this case, we find all the starting indices of the word image in the parsed HTML code. Next, we can read data from an API or an application program interface. An API allows two applications to talk to each other. For example, the weather conditions are constantly being updated in a database, and the API connects you, the user, to that data in the database. In the following example, we obtain data from a JSON file, which is a common object when dealing with APIs. The data comes from ThingSpeak, where we are getting air sensor data in real time. ThingSpeak is an IoT analytics platform service that allows you to aggregate, visualize, and analyze live data streams in the cloud. Notice that the output is a structure array when dealing with APIs. You can index into the structure array and use the data in whatever way you like, like making plots. Finally, we can read an image we see online into MATLAB and all we need is the URL. In the following example, we use the image of the MATLAB logo from the URL. When we input the URL into WebRead, we get the RGB values, which is a 179 by 480 by 3 unsigned integer. The 179 by 480 is the size of the image, and the 3 represents the red, green, and blue filters. Then we can feed that into the IM show function to get the final image displayed. Hopefully, this helps to get you started with getting the data you see online into your code. A few takeaways are to recognize the type of data you're dealing with in your workspace variables, use the query parameters when needed, and explore options for additional details. Thank you so much, and have a good day.